Money is always a topic of discussion in a relationship. If only one person of the two has it, the other person feels jealous. If both have it, then a fight begins whether who is more powerful. If no one has it, it becomes the reason for fight after fight about the lack of it. In this video, I will briefly explain how to cope with money and relationships so you can follow my lead and last longer. Hi there, welcome to your channel, The Foreigner in America, where I teach locals and foreigners everything related to money, personal finances, investing, real estate, and the markets. If you're someone like myself that loves money and wants to be independent and wealthier, please subscribe to this great channel and hit that bell so you're alerted every time I upload videos. I also post on Instagram and TikTok now at The Foreigner in America. I post on my blog, theforeignerinamerica.com, where I elaborate more on the inside. And I have a new book called A Foreigner in America Can Succeed that talks about money, investing, jobs, dieting, exercise, friendship, among many other topics of interest. And you can get it for the cost of a latte in the link below. When it comes to any relationship, especially the new ones, money is a taboo that has to be brought up to the table sooner or later. Yeah, it's uncomfortable, a pain in the ass, but it's something that needs to be addressed with your new partner if you want to last and be happier. I will give you specific pieces of advice on how to cope with money and the do's and don'ts about it. If you think this advice is BS, go ahead and not listen to it, but you will regret it. So let's begin. Advice number one, talk about spending habits. First of all, before you start talking about savings, investments, and the likes and dislikes about money, you need to understand the spending habits and trends of your partner. You are not her parents. You were never in charge of teaching anything. You only need to assess the situation. From zero to 10, how good is she with money? How much does she spend relative to how much she makes? How long can money last in cash on her hand before it flies away? How much does she carry with her? How is her relationship with credit cards and loans? What up with her student loans? You need to act like a detective a little bit and understand the big picture. The Spending habits of your partner will create an environment of peace and love or will create a destructive, stressful one full of fights and lend me money situations. Advice number two, careful with expectations. When you start a new relationship, you always feel the need to splurge a bit. I bought her the biggest teddy bear in the store, the nicest ring, the $3,000 Louis Vuitton bag for her birthday. You need to understand that anything you do in the beginning sets the bottom in stone. If you give her a $3,000 bag for her birthday, that is the bottom. Unless your last name is Zuckerberg or Paige, don't set such unrealistic bottoms. Get her a nice $200 coach or Michael Kors bag and call it a day. Wait some time, years of time, before you upgrade into designer brands and make it where it is a very special one-of-a-kind situation. Advice number three, divide and conquer. I got this piece of advice from a guy I follow on YouTube called Patrick Bet David, where he said something that stuck with me. He said that couples should have three accounts. His account, her account, and their account. His money is his money. He controls it and he does whatever he wants with it, no questions asked. Her money is her money, the same thing. The joint account with their money should be treated for a common purpose. Maybe send a kid, a kid to college, pay for a vacation, buy a house, etc. The phrase of everything you own belongs to me 
is the most stupid thing I ever heard. I don't agree. You get the person, not the money, and there should always be that respect for each other's property. If you get married, make sure you get marriage insurance or a prenup. It will save you thousands of headaches and a lot of money. Now, let me give you my foreigner insight for this video. Money is always a topic of discussion between couples. Whether you like it or not, you need to bring your cards to the table. If your partner doesn't agree with you on how to manage the money of the relationship, it's time for you to decide whether you want to be with this person or not. Health is the most important thing you have as a human being. Then comes love. Love from family, friends, and a partner. But money is surrounding everything. It pays for your health. It maintains your relationships with family, friends, and a partner. It is so important that it has a level of its own. Make it a priority to protect it and be happy with your partner by agreeing on the terms on how to manage it in the relationship. You will never regret it. So I hope you enjoyed this video about money. Make sure you give me a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss any one of my two weekly videos. Check out my Instagram, my blog, and my TikTok. And make sure you check out my book, A Foreigner in America Can Succeed, which you can get for the price of a latte in the link. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you.